Is it, this is on. I'm Mark Merrifield. Uh, I'm a professor here in oceanography, and I, one of the things I get to do is to support Corey in running this program. Um, I think what strikes me coming through this year with them is, uh, as, you can, as you might imagine, studying the climate crisis for a year can be pretty grim business. And it was a lot of, um, I mean, I, and I think what emerges is what you saw here is just positive energy and a sense that kind of a collective rolling up of our sleeves and what can we do to bring change? And not only just change, but equitable change. And I think you saw that through every talk today. So I just, I just wanna thank you guys for bringing such tremendous energy and hope uh, to the program. And uh, please join me in congratulating the class of 2022 on their tremendous work over the course of the year. Please raise your hand if you benefited from a Julia R. Brown Fellowship as part of your capstone research. Yeah, so thank you, Julia. Uh, it made a big difference, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. Let's just take an opportunity to thank some people for the year, uh, their help over the year. Um, I think Risa is not here with us now. Risa, Risa, thank you for all the support you've given the program over the years. And Peter, thank you for taking over. It's been fantastic. So thank you very much. Uh, they did a lot more than just pass around the microphone. So Denise and Gilbert, thank you for all the support you give to the MS program. Let's just take a moment to thank these people. <laughs> Uh, the program really comes down to the uh, energy and the vision and just the commitment of one person in particular, and that's Corey Gabriel. And the program literally wouldn't exist without Corey, I have to say, from where, where he's brought it from the beginnings to where it is now. It's just a tremendous effort. And uh, what can we say, Corey? Thank you for all you've done. Uh, the, other, the other kind of uh, thing that struck me as I was sitting there, is, and it, we always think about it, is the climate problem is so big, and you think, you know, what can we possibly do? And it made me think to a, the summer of last year when this, this class was trying to understand how the ocean and the atmosphere were uh, part of the climate system. We made them take, use differential equations. We did some pretty tough stuff. <laughs> But we, um, we tried to stress that in a highly nonlinear system like this, small perturbations to the system can lead to really big impacts. And the metaphor for that has been that the flapping of a butterfly wing can change weather patterns miles away. And so I think what we're seeing here is the release of 19 beautiful butterflies about ready to go out and change the world. So good luck to you all. And I think we are now ready to celebrate. Right? Yeah. Yeah.